Hey girls, welcome back to Heatherly Hearts. And today, I'm doing a trash or treasure on something brand new that I just saw on the Ulta website. So I ordered it like the day it came out. Um, I was very intrigued by it because I'm all the time looking for a way to get really quick, ready, and have more products all in one place. It's the Woosh, Woosh, W-O-O-S-H, Beauty, the Fold Out Face, complete daily makeup routine, everything you need in one palette. I got the color light. There are six colors that range from light, which was light enough for me, and I'm pretty fair. I'm like an, N, an NW20 to 23 or something. So this was light enough for me, because you, you'll see when I open it, you can kind of customize the colors that you need. Um, this is the box it came in, and it's magnetized. It's really cool. This is just the outer box, y'all. So I probably will keep it just to travel with it. So these um, are the founders, I guess, of Woosh, and it tells a little about the, the brand. And then it tells you, you have the fold out face. It's all here from foundation to finish. And then there's a four in one secret brush set. So um, it also comes with a little booklet that tells you how to use everything for a five minute face. And it's detailed, it's colored. They spend a lot of money on this. It's not like a simple little sheet, you know what I mean? So I think that's great. Um, Cause a lot of them like, for instance, they call the concealer and the foundation perfectors. Well, that's really foundation and concealer. So when I was reading it, I'm like, what is that? You know, um, what does that mean? You know, so this helped. Um, another thing they do is they give you a little vinyl protector. It says to, ooh, I'm white now. It says to peel off here and they have you put it, and I'll show you where they have you put it, which is a great idea, but it didn't end up working for me. I'm going to have to fix it, but I'll let y'all know. So here's the palette itself. It's very reflective, so we're going to have a time with that, but it's very reflective. It says whoosh. It's very hard, very sturdy cardboard. It's very, um, it feels very almost plastic, but I know it's cardboard. So it says the fold out face, so if you store it, you can always see what it is. And then it has a pull and a magnet, a real strong magnet, okay? Let me wipe it up because I've used it obviously in the demo for this face. So you open it and it says, Pro Girl, it's a noun, someone who supports rather can, than competes with other women. I love that. So you open this up and there's a good full size mirror. I still have the sheeting on mine. And then there's your eyeshadows, your perfectors, which is the foundation and concealers. The little thing that this came on is this little protective cover because these are creams. Everything else in here is powder. Um, it's this. It's supposed to stick right here. The first time I used it, which I was seeing in the demo, it came off. So I'm going to have to get little glue dots. So that was a, pro, a con for me. But I think it's amazing. I wish they would have placed it and like heat sealed it in instead of just making it sticky, you know, instead of giving you the option. Um, I wish they would have done that, maybe with a, more of a plastic cover. But, but I still think it's a great idea that they're allowing us a, a choice of covering our creams when it's surrounded by powders. Because that's one of a big complaint. If you have a cream surrounded by powders, it just falls into the powders. And the powders turn into paste, pretty much. So here's the eyeshadows. Here's the foundation and concealers. You can see there's two. So there's a lighter and a darker. And you'll see me in the demo. I custom match them to what I need. Here's a highlighting powder. The powders are very smooth. Here's a highlighting contour, okay? And here's your blushers, your highlight. This highlight, y'all, is gorgeous. And then your finishing powders. And again, there's a light powder and a dark powder. And you'll see I just swish them. This is the light palette. I just swished them back and forth, and it made a custom color that was perfect for me, okay? So I think overall this palette is $59, but you will see in the demo and my final thoughts what I think on it, if it's worth it or not. Um, I'm so excited to see Ulta. Um, bringing in all these um, new brands and I think this brand used to be on just HSN exclusively and you know they have Wet n Wild now and they have all these brands from Britain and it's really cool so I'm excited for that so if you're interested in seeing more about this product and how I got this full face looked using just this product now I will say I added in my own mascara because it doesn't come with my own lip balm and I added in a primer of my own which I'll go over what that is and a setting spray that's all I added of my own everything else full every color item from brows to chin came from this palette okay so if you want to see how i got this look and you want to see my thoughts on this palette just keep watching hey it's me again i'm obviously not done with the intro because i can't do anything on the first take i didn't show y'all at all the secret brush it's a four in one okay and they're numbered you can see these brushes are numbered this says three this says four slash five 
and you'll see in the demo the palette is numbered so these are the brushes that are supposed to coincide, coincide with what you use you open it up and they're saying this is your eye brush because it's it's labeled number one and I used to that um, and then they're saying this is the foundation and concealer brush because it's labeled number two I used it to place concealer and then I did have to go in with like three or four of my own brushes um, to blend it out and make the rest of the palette work but you'll see what worked and what kind of didn't with these brushes the brushes are very soft um, so I didn't want to show you this if you get it at Ulta this is the secret for one brush so I think their goal is just to travel with just this and this and some mascara but I did have to pull in let's see one two three four of my own brushes so I just want to let y'all know that but still for traveling this is the brush these are the brushes I pulled in for traveling if that's all you're taking to travel a lip product, a mascara, which is in this hand, and this, 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 y'all know that's not much. Okay, I wanted to touch base about the brush because I didn't touch base on it in my original intro. Okay, so now, on to the demo. Okay, let's get this show on the road so I don't look like a zombie. Um, to prep, I started out, and I love this stuff, it's the Makeup Revolution Pro Base Blur Primer Illumination Base. So I started out with that. Well, first of all, I started out with the Limelight I Aspire Serum for my under back, my under eyes. And then I topped off the, come on Heather, get it together. We can do this. I topped off the um, primer with um, the Catrice Prime and Fine Fixing Spray. Um, Cause I just like the way it does my skin. So um, as future Heather, cause I haven't done my intro yet, obviously it told y'all or will tell y'all matrix um, in the, um, intro, I am going to use this palette, and I'm going to try to only use this palette today. The Whoosh is supposed to be the full face palette. I've already introduced it to y'all. Um, and I am going to try to use these brushes. I've already shown y'all it opens up. and But what it says is for the eye brush, and we're going to see. And the other brushes I tried to pick up were like brushes that were double-ended um, or, or uh, cost efficient to try to like use as many as few brushes as possible to do this look look at this hair y'all i'm gonna fix it before that intro um okay so let's start out and um they are telling me number one it's the eyeshadows i've already showed y'all this and so in the booklet it says start out with your base and then how to do it i'm going to try to follow it as well, good as possible i am going to go in first however into this um concealer found slash foundation that they call the perfectors and I'm gonna put this on my lid as an eye base the lightest one I'm just using my finger and putting it on as the base and then I'm gonna go in and use the base that they recommend which is the just the off-white shadow because I know I have to cancel out this darkness so we're gonna do that I'm gonna try to do as much as I can using it in the in the order that they recommend okay okay so that, I feel like I'm primed. So now it's saying to go into the base, which is this color. And I am gonna try, cause even, I showed y'all the brushes were even numbered, like they're calling this number one, if y'all can see that. And number one goes to the eyeshadow. But I just don't see how I'm gonna make this work for anything except for maybe the crease. So, I'm gonna go on like I normally would, and this is with uh, Delium Tools 785. And I'm gonna go into that light cream base color and set everything like I normally would. So right now we're just doing the base. We did add the perfector just to make more of a sticky base and so it'll cancel out all those dark tones I am struggling with right now. Actually, I'm gonna go into these. These are my unicorn brushes. I did a whole review on them. I will, it's the video before this one. Um, pretty good, check it out. So I'm gonna use those. Okay, so it says to apply your base. And then it says to go in and define. So it's this dark brown color. But I'm gonna kind of mix this, these two colors for my transition just because I know that my transition is gonna be a little bit lighter than that. And then I'll go on with just the dark brown to define. So I'm gonna kind of use a fluffy brush and go into these two to kind of make more of a transition color. There's a little bit of pickup, but it's not bad. So I'm gonna start putting it right here. And they're saying you can get this done in five minutes. If I wouldn't talk in my head off, I'm sure you can. Okay. And the pigmentation is good. I mean, it's good. 
I'm happy with that. Okay. So I feel like that's good. Now I'm going to go into the shine, which is the, what they're saying is for the base. It's a really pretty, it's not real shiny. Another thing I could have done is use the contour color from my crease, which I would probably do next time. And I may go ahead and do it just to, just to show y'all. So that's a pretty color. It's just a real simple eye look. This is supposed to be a five minute full face. Nothing big, nothing dramatic. Okay, so I'm going to go in and do that. I'm going to go on with our unicorn. Now there is some kit back on that bronzer or the contour. And I'm just going to redefine my crease. Okay, I like that. So that would make a good crease color, this number three contour shade. Cool. Okay. And then I am going to go in and use the number one brush that is supposed to be for the eyeshadows. And I'm going to use that in this dark brown because I think it'll be a good outer V brush. Let me use the mirror. It comes with a real nice mirror. I've already showed y'all this. And I'm just going to define that outer V a little bit. Like I said, this is supposed to be like an everyday look, so I'm not going to go crazy. I'm happy with that. And I may even go into the shimmer and use that. This is supposed to be a highlight for your face, but I think I really like it on the eyes because the eyeshadow shimmer is good, but it didn't really give me the off I was looking for, you know. Okay, so then I'm going to go in to my brow bone. I'm going to use this double-sided. When I pack this um, for travel, I will pack all my double-sided brushes. I think that's the whole point. So I'm going to go in with this face powder, which is right here. It's the highlighting powder. I've already, I've already showed y'all. I will have already showed y'all in the intro how they're saying all these should be used. So I'm going to use that as a matte highlight. Okay. And then I'm going to go in with my double-sided, this is a Tarte brush. I'm going to use that and I'm going to use this black as they recommend as an eyeliner. Ooh, I better get my mirror for that, girls. good. It's a nicely pigmented black. I will throw in swatches, a swatch um, segment too, so y'all can see how all these swatch out, just a hand swatches. I think that's important. It's not really always totally, totally definitive of how it's going to act on your eye, but it's a good, it's a good resource, I think, to have. Okay. There's a lot of kit back on those um, face powders. Okay, so it's telling me to go in with the number two brush for the concealer and, that is bizarre. It's telling me this is the number two brush and this is how it's telling me to do the concealer and foundation. I'm gonna use it to place it and then I think I'm just gonna use my, a, found, a bigger foundation brush. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the lightest one and now I'm here to this, to the perfectors, which are considered the foundation and concealers. I feel like I'm all over the place, y'all. Every day now, every day. Okay, and this safety screen that I showed y'all that they give us to put on it just came off as I was lifting it open to get the product. So that's not promising. I'll see if I can get it back on there. It's not even sticky anymore, so this isn't gonna stay. Okay, that's not promising at all. Okay, that's not staying, so I'm gonna have to tape it, just so you know. Okay, so for my foundation, I'm gonna use this um, dense angled unicorn brush, and what I'm gonna do is go into both of them, the lighter and the darker color. Yeah, that's making my perfect color, that's what I thought. So you can see, it's kind of getting messy around there, but that's what you expect from a cream. Oh, y'all, that coverage is not bad. Y'all saw what all I had to cover up today. So I'm just going to go in and swirl it and kind of place it. That's not bad, y'all. And then go in and blend it out. 
I'm gonna put, go ahead and put this protector, just lay it back on there so when I go into the the rest of the shadows, it won't give me a time. Okay, so let's blend this out. It's blending out perfectly. Absolutely no problem. I think the foundation, the coverage is amazing. It feels very lightweight on the skin. That's amazing. Y'all, that's not bad coverage. Y'all saw what my face looked like when I got started. I'm happy with that. I am not mad at that coverage, y'all. And you can create it. Like, I add a little bit more darker down here to kind of create a customized face color. I'm not contouring. I'm just going around the rim of my face. Y'all, that's... I like it. Okay. Cool. So, then I'm going to go in and take my unicorn brushes, and I'm going to go into the number three. So, we've done one and two, and this is number three. So, I'm going to go in with number three and set my under eye. Oh, that's setting nicely. So far, y'all. Okay, y'all can see. I hope y'all can see that. There's a little bit of kickback, if y'all can see. But the powders are nice. They're finely milled. I need to go in with a better brush. I'm going to go in with this. I'm going to go in with my e.l.f. complexion brush. Yeah. So I'm going to set everywhere that I put the highlighter, the cream contour. Wrong. Concealer. Okay, and this is where I'm going to deviate. Number three is telling me to go straight into this contour palette powder, but I think I want to come over here and go into the blender powders because I feel like if I try to go in right now and contour, it's going to, because it's still pretty tacky because it's a cream foundation, so I feel like it needs to be set. So I'm going to go in with the bigger powder brush. This is an AOA $1 brush. It's amazing. And I'm going to go in and get mostly light, a tad of dark, okay? And I'm just going to set my whole face. So I'm going to tap like three times in the light to once in the dark, you know. And these are so you can custom make your color. I may just drag it back and forth. That's a good color for me. Um, I think also this would make an... I'm going to show y'all. Here's the difference in the contour and the dark powder. So if you want it a little more ashy, you may want to go into the darker powder. I mean the contour. If you want it a tad bit warm, you may want to go into the perfect blenders, you know, for your contour, but I'm just kind of going back and forth, and it's creating, like, the perfect color, and this is, it's not feeling cakey, it feels good, y'all, I'm pretty impressed, not this hair, though, y'all, not this hair, okay, so now I feel like I'm gonna want to go into the contour, and I am gonna, I'm kind of gonna use it as a bronzer, Okay, let me show you what they're saying to use for the contour, and I might use that. This is the brush. Let me put the other end on it. This is the Wush 4-in-1 brush. They're saying to use that, and I think I'll try, but they're also saying to use it. No, they're not. Okay. So, let's try this. That's a good to place it, and then I could blend it out with that, y'all. That's not bad. I like the tone. Oh, I like it. I'm gonna do my double chin. Can't be goblin out there in the world. Y'all, I'm pretty impressed. Y'all, that's pretty. That's not bad. We're already 13 minutes in, Lord. Come on, Heather, quit talking. I'm almost done with this portion. Y'all, that's good, and this brush is soft. This so far has been like, besides the concealer brush that I used just to place it under my eyes, this is the best brush so far. Okay, I'm gonna go in and just blend it. That's a good blush brush for blending, but I would say it's not for setting. But they do have this brush four slash five, and they're saying to use it for the blushes and then your powder, 
your finishing powder. So I'll go in and do that. Um, I think I'm going to go into the second blush right here. Ooh, that's pretty, y'all. I like it. Ooh, I like it. Okay. And let's go in saying to highlight with it this brush okay let's try the tip of it and I'll highlight oh I love it I love that highlighter y'all it's like natural but it shows up child I'm really impressed with this I mean I'm gonna save my final thoughts for my final thoughts but okay and then I'm gonna dust that off and go back into my finishing powders and just blend it all together like it's telling me to do with that brush this brush works fine it's a little bit smaller than I'd like for a um, blending powder brush you know but it works fine yeah, that's pretty okay so now I am going to go in with this I think it came in the vice 2 palette it did this little end and I am going to take a mix of brown Maybe just brown, that dark brown, and define my eyes. Okay, that worked. And then they're saying that as, I'm gonna use a little bit of black right here on the corner just to smoke it out a little bit more. Then they're saying that you can also Do your brow, so we're gonna try that. Um, okay, I'm gonna start out with this brown color. I may go to black brown. So I'm gonna go in with the eyeshadow to the brown color and I'm gonna take my same part brush. I've only used four or five brushes, so that's, I was trying to keep it to a minimum. I'm gonna go. Okay, this is nice and neutral toned. This might work, y'all. They're saying you could. So we're gonna do everything on our face that they're saying we can do. And like I said in the intro, I'm just gonna add um, primer, setting and spray, and y'all, that did good. I'm impressed. Okay, I'm just gonna use, uh, what was I saying? Uh, primer, setting spray, mascara, and lip gloss of my own. So all this face and makeup would fit in one purse. Y'all, I like that. That brown is perfect for my brows. Okay, I'm going to go back into the highlight. Do a little bit more there. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Okay, this is long as hell. Okay, I'm going to go and do my mascara and my lips, and I will be back with my final thoughts. Okay, so final thoughts. Um... I really, really like this palette. Um, you can see it got dirty just from use, you know, just because it has cream products and powder products. But um, I'm going to take my hand towel, and you can see it wipes off beautifully. Um, I like that it has a full-size mirror. The mirror is a good mirror. Um, it still has the wrapper on it. But I will say I'm a little disappointed this came off. I think it's a great idea. But I'm going to have to get, like, glue dots or something to keep that on. You can see how... Um, kind of the palette got a little bit dirty just from use, but I think my suspicion is Yeah, it cleans right up. They were smart and made this a metallic smooth um, Almost slippery surface. It's like they laminated the silver so you can go in and wipe it off. I hate it when companies put matte or non easily cleanable um textures inside and outside the palettes because they get filthy so that's just a pet peeve of mine but it looks brand new now so um i love everything about this i think that the face products the cream products are amazing the powders are all very soft there's because of the softness there's a little bit of kickback as y'all saw um but i think overall it's a great 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 palette the con is it's a little messy and this I wish they would have put it on and sealed it better over the cream products instead of giving us the little um, 
the little pack that I showed you to seal it ourselves, and they only gave us one, and this is the first time I've used it, and y'all saw it fall off, okay? So that's a con, and other than that, it has everything you need. Um, if there was a little place for like a mini mascara and lip, it would be full, um, a full face palette. I think for $59, you can't beat it. It has a mirror that you can stand up. Um, I am going to travel with this when I go for 10 days back to New Orleans and just take, literally, just take a, um, a lip color and a mascara, maybe some false lashes, and call it a day. I think it's amazing. Um, so, yeah, I'm all for this. I think it's a great value. I think it creates a beautiful um, canvas. And I do think you could do different looks with it. Like, if I wanted to put this kind of mauve blush in the crease, let me do that right now. I think it would totally change the look of this. And kind of oh yeah and kind of give it more a different look you don't always have to go with a totally neutral eye I could go in and do this mauve in the crease and turn it into something much more warm and less neutral um, I think you could do this blush on the lid and have a beautiful look like a warm sunset look we're just gonna try it now girls yeah that works now my intro, because I filmed that last, is going to not look like the finished product product at the demo. But see how that just kind of changed the whole look? And I could darken it with a little bit more black, y'all, and be good to go. Let's try that now. I'm just trying to show y'all the versatility, because I am, I have not been this, oh, that's pretty. I've not been this pleased with the product in a long time, because I hate to tell y'all, but a lot of companies are just throwing out products to throw out products. Um... Yeah, that's pretty, y'all. This hair, this hair ain't pretty. But yeah, for me, this gets a, a, a definite treasure. This is a, hopefully more people will know about it and hear about it, um, but this is amazing. I give this a definite treasure. So, okay, I'm gonna go. I have more videos to film. Um, I kind of put myself on a tight schedule this week. Um, so I'm gonna go, but yeah, this is definite treasure. What else? Um, I have lots coming for y'all. I've resubscribed to some subscription boxes so I can start unboxing those because those were some of my more popular videos when I used to film. Um, and that's what's going on. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions or if you found a hidden gem, a hidden treasure in either the drugstore or Ulta or Sephora, let us know and let me know if there's anything you want me to do a review on. Okay, girls, thanks for tuning in. I'm gonna go do something with this hair if I can quit having a hot flash and quit sweating. And I'll see y'all soon. Bye.